It's fly day and it's time to tie an old favourite, which is just as good today as it ever was. Over the last few years, this fly has sort of fallen out of favour. Um, but to be honest, it is still as effective as it was six, seven years ago. I think it, it's just trends and, and people tend to follow fashions in fishing. And if people don't use them, well, obviously people don't catch on them. Now, the shipments buzzer, a lot of the times would be used with foam um, or uh, white tuft at, at both ends. I tend to use CDC. Now, a lot of people will go, oh God, CDC is expensive. But do you know those tufts of CDC that you have that you'd never use as a wing on a river dry or never use as um, a post for an F fly and things like that? Well, these are the bits you use. And what you want, just a little bit of a tail. And we cut them off so we get tapered body. So you're using the sort of the straggly ends of the CDC as opposed to the, you know, the good stuff that you would normally use. I'm gonna use just a bit of hairs here for the body. You can do claret, you can do ginger, you can do all sorts of colors of it. So, and this is a great pattern when those fish are just supping, you know, they're just nipping off the top. They're not sort of breaking a lot of the surface. They're not very confident to come up and take. Well, this is the pattern. Now then, build it up to there. And we're gonna put the head in. Again, not the best CDC, and you don't want that. There we go, just use that. Cut that off. Just finish, get that. A little bit more. You find that the front end is that little bit long, don't worry about it. That's all you have to do. Trim it off. And then we'll just a couple of half inches to finish off. Now, if you find yourself in that situation where fish are just supping in the surface, put a couple of these on your cast and you'll be surprised. The fish still like them as much as they did eight, nine years ago.